Hello everybody. In this video session, I am going to discuss about push button interface to a 8051 microcontroller. As you are aware, most of our real time examples are based on a few input devices and a few output devices. That means we will be trying to get some input from uh, switches or maybe from LED, uh, IR LEDs or uh, it could be even uh, some sensors. Uh, there should be some input devices and then we should control the some output devices. For example, in this diagram, I have shown here two switches okay, and one output device like one LED and another one like a motor which I have shown here. If you look at the full interface here, the AT51 microcontroller is here and then we have connected a push button let us say PB1 to port 1 bit 0 and you can notice here this I connected to 5 volt that means we have you know 5 volt feeding when the switch is pressed the 5 volt is going to the port 1 bit 0 when the switch is released okay when the switch is released and you can see that this is a open circuit over here and the ground that means zero will go to this pin this uh, already this setup we already discussed about the you know having necessity of uh, pull up and pull down resistors in my earlier videos you can see this connection is again just uh, uh, the other way around that means when you press the button you get a zero and the button is released you get a one that means from this okay now what happens is uh, we assume that maybe this is connected to some other uh, port bit let us say it's p1.1 and just have a look at this you have maybe here a led which is connected at let us say like p2.0 and this is p2.1 okay now um, the basic purpose of having a, a push button let us say something like action that means if push button one is pressed okay so maybe you want to control let us say the led on okay just maybe you want to it could be led on it can it can be even some some other load okay so led on let us say if this let us say this as a push button two if push button two is pressed let us say you want to turn on the motor okay now in this case you may be wondering you know uh, what is the point of having a microcontroller here you know uh, when i want to press a button i want to just turn on led and when i press button 2 let us say i want to turn on the motor what is the point of having these drivers and 8051 microcontroller and also the you know the wiring and the program you know yeah the reason is quite obvious what do you think if this is the only condition we need we no need to go for microcontrollers even i agree with you okay uh, that means uh, we should have some more you know control parameters for example maybe this led uh, you want to turn on with a different intervals that means when the push button is pressed okay so you want to turn on the led let us say for uh, 200 milliseconds and you want to keep it off for let us say 800 milliseconds okay this you want to repeat so this can't be done with only the switches if you can imagine okay that means only mechanical switch can't do this job uh, okay why we want to do that uh, you might have seen a lot of real-time examples like um, you know the uh, automatic room fresheners or even in a toilet there is a dispensers in which there is a single battery is there and there is a configurable timer is there like we can configure at what time you want to uh, you know spray the liquid okay so if you look at that setup uh, there is an indication uh, we say the battery level indication on the on those machines if you look at carefully uh, those battery level indications uh, generally it it won't continuously on i mean to say that led won't be continuously on it is very easy to make if battery is good we can make one led continuously on whereas the LED is going to consume let us say um, 10 to 15 milliamps current 
if it is going to drain continuously that's actually a waste of power so what people they used to do is they try to provide some kind of you know on and off delay here so that they only run out of or sorry they run, they only use uh, 20% of the power and not only that they also try to convey some fault code that means if the led is on in a regular interval that means the system is working if led is flashing at a fast rate okay so let us say like is turn on for long time and turn off for uh, you know short time again we can say uh, you know the system is uh, having some error so such kind of message also conveyed through uh, led patterns okay so it is based on the designer what they are trying to you know put it on to the system okay so it's based on the designer's choice so now let us consider this example like if push button is 2 is pressed okay you want to switch on the motor again our argument is i can just keep the motor on with a single switch again what's the point of having um, you know a microcontroller over here maybe i can also add here some more parameters so that which we can't do it in terms of uh, manual operation have a look at this this motor is going to control let us say some you know sharp cutting edge uh, things like that okay so that means a kind of azar okay so if you want to turn on the motor let us say i need to have some more input maybe a sensor input let us say like something like you know uh, safeguard okay so so if i have a safeguard input let us say this is connected to port 1.2 if this signal is high if this signal is high and the push button is pressed then you want to turn on the motor that means maybe if there is a like a kind of you know uh, a mechanical assembly when you close the, when you close the you know the safeguard and then it gives the signal to the microcontroller okay it's a kind of you know mechanical assembly a kind of like which you see it in your washing machines on the uh, microwave ovens okay uh, like when the, when you open the door you can see it senses okay uh, whether the door is closed or open okay yes of course there are two kind of switches there also one is a pure mechanical switch which is called as a limit switches and another one they use a kind of magnetic switches okay um a kind of magnetic uh, sensing okay the, i call it as a read switches now this concept that means i am bringing a new concept if push, push button 2 is pressed and the the safeguard is closed we can say the motor has to be uh, you know uh, running even we can add more uh, sophisticated things like you know um if safeguard is not pressed and you are keep pressing the push button 2 okay what we can do is if s yes, if push button 2 is pressed and safeguard is pressed or let us say instead of press sorry like i can say closed we can say motor on okay so motor on otherwise even i can have a, a buzzer that means if the push button 2 is pressed whereas the safeguard is not closed okay it's not closed so what i can do i can just give a buzzer warning okay so these things you can't do it manually we need to have a um a controller okay it's not necessary to have a 8051 it can be any other microcontroller but the concept is we are not only doing just a push button read or we are not only doing just uh, you know the input uh, read we are also trying to apply a kind of a little more uh, complex uh, uh, process in that or uh, th you know complex task like the safety measures and also a kind of uh, warning hazards things like that you want to add which can be done only with the microcontrollers okay a small computer okay and in, in this case it's a microcontroller now this gives us maybe a overall idea of the hardware i just i will summarize now the hardware once again so the push button which you see it over here push button p1 is of course is connected to a 5 volt and is connected to a port pin 
and of course push button 2 is again connected in a another mode okay so it's connected to the ground and it's connected to the pin and port 2 bit 0 is connected to a led and port 2 bit 1 is connected to a driver and then it connected to a relay okay so on the relay you can see why we use here driver because relay is a high current device and of course we need to have a, a driver okay the current flow will be in this direction sorry for that and you are trying to control a motor you know, that means just a simple motor so using a relay so i am just connecting through a, a relay is a normally opened when the relay is on this get closed and the motor will be working okay so hope you understand this uh, hardware interface uh, portion in my next video i'll discuss about how to write the simple task the first task what we are going to discuss how to read the push button value and send to an led okay that means when you press the switch the led must be on when you release the switch the led must be off the second task what we are going to perform if i press the push button 2 the motor must be on and vice versa okay when you release it the most motor must be off and then also we'll try to do this safeguard if time permits hope you understand this uh, hardware description if you like my videos please recommend to your friends and also subscribe to my channels there is also plenty of videos are there in uh, different topics do watch those videos and if you like it please just uh, press the like button also thanks for watching see you